Welcome back to the channel, Natsu here once again, and we need to talk about Evolution 2024, aka EVO 2024. Now, if you don't know what that is, in few words, it's the biggest tournament in the whole year, even though there is a version for Japan, this one is the biggest one, and with this, usually it comes character reveals, new updates, new everything, so it's a big event for the AVGC, right? So. In this video, I'm gonna go over things that you should be expecting and maybe some stuff that might not happen, but we can be hopeful. Now, having said that, since we already have, you know, Far, far Future City of the Wolves uh, in, in the, you know, in the video, let's go about it. Like, I'm certain there's gonna be a character reveal for this game. And when I say certain, it's like 100%. Because SNK has been saying this is the time for us to go ham. Now, usually they have done this in the past with the Japan version. And this also means other stuff because there haven't been any, any, any updates about Kino Fire 15. So, yesterday, SNK put this teaser screenshot. Uh, in their social medias, in Twitter or X or however you want to name it. Now, a lot of people, including me, when I saw the silhouettes, I saw two characters at once. Those two characters are Bison and Mishir, which are two characters that people have been asking for. And I'm, a, I'm, a, you know, I'm, I'm kind of flabbergasted that this is having come before. Now, how many characters are gonna, gonna be in Kino Fire 15 last season? Because I think this is gonna be the last season, to be honest. I'm not sure. A lot of people were speculating that there might be a, a guest character in King of Fire 15. I'm gonna do another video about that altogether, to be honest. But if you should have an idea of what I'm talking about here, I don't think they should go and add any guest characters in King of Fire 15, but in Federal Fury City of the Wolves. Why? Because at the end of everything, there's better marketing opportunities, like trying to bring new people to the genre, to the you know, to the franchise by using the newest game instead of using the one that the, it, looks, it looks like it's in the last legs. Uh, but I'm, a, I'm super excited. So that's something that we should be expecting. Character reveal for Kino Fire 15 last season, or third season in this case, and new character for Fairy Fury, uh, City of the Wolves. Now the next game I want to talk about is the Anth Duel. To be honest, I don't think there's gonna be any stories or news from this game. I hope I'm wrong. I hope they might be saying, hey, let's go and do a second season. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, also, I don't think it's going to be the case, like, for example, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. They had, the, you know, have like a follow with Ground Versus Fantasy Versus Rising. Uh, I don't think this is going to happen. I apologize. I want to be hopeful that it might happen, but highly unlikely. And if you're asking why I'm saying this, that, you know, why I do not think there's gonna be more content for this game is because this game is not popular. This game wasn't even in evolution at all. Even when it first came, people dropped the game super earlier, uh, which is another thing I should do a video about it. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope there's gonna be a new season for this game or at least like a second part altogether with all the DLC characters, including that bundle, like technically like Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, but yeah. Let's hope and wait. Now the next game we're expecting to have news is for Hunter x Hunter Nen <laughs> Impact. Uh, now this game, uh, you know, what, what, what is expecting we get like a new character, but also something what I'm expecting is they give us finally a release date. Because if you don't know, they say this game is coming this year. Now, in all honesty, I don't think this game should be coming this year, but there's other games I will be talking in a few minutes that I think is making them go like, hey, we need this out because otherwise there won't be any money. So, yes, that's what we expected for this game. A release date and also new character. Now, 2KXO is a game that technically was going to do is fill that niche for tag team fires. And when I mean tag team fires are games like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, 3, uh, infinite etc also hunter x 
<laughs> Hunter X, Hunter Hunter, then Impact, and also Dragon Ball Fighters. Right now, there isn't hasn't been like a recent game that tackled this kind of gameplay, and they are doing this as we speak now. This is why I believe that Name Impact is getting way rushed to be in 2024 because this game should be coming out next year. So what I'm expecting over here is finally they give us the date of when the alpha test is gonna be or like a beta test or whatever so people can play more this game. I haven't had the opportunity. I'm being cautious about this game because again, I don't believe the hype until I play it. That's, that's, that's used to me. It, it looks beautiful compared to Hunter x Hunter. I, I, I'm sorry to drop that. Even though I'm not a League, a League of Legends fan, I, I, I have never played that game. I don't care about playing that game. People tell me, hey, go and play it. I, I, I saw the Netflix series, but that's about it. I don't think it's bad. I just didn't like the way the Legend, Le, you know, League of Legends plays. But I'm super interested about this. Not because of what people are saying in the ABC there. There's gonna be real money this time around. And who knows, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it, it won't. Because if you see right now, the big money is in Street Fighter 6 Capcom Tour Finals. Uh, I think Tekken 8 might go that route, but you know, that's something Harada say. But Harada is in the presence of Bandai, so take that as a grain, with a grain of salt. But yeah, I'm super excited. I think they're also gonna release a new character, trailer, and information about the te the beta test or alpha test that's gonna be coming up because I already tried you know I already applied for that. Hopefully I get in. But yeah, now the next game we're gonna talk about is Tekken 8. Now keep in mind we already know that Lydia is coming after the event uh, on Monday, if I'm mistaken, July 22. Uh, but keep in mind if that is in the case that you bought the season pass, so you will have early access to the to the character. Now a lot of people are kind of angry in the fandom about this character because they're saying hey it's paid to win i don't think that is the case still until i play with her because something might look good on paper but until you play with it you don't know you know we don't know if it's really good or not right so having said that uh besides having the new character and the new station you're seeing on uh, you know in the screen right the new, new team they're gonna also be adding our balance update but what i'm expecting from them is to give us a teaser trailer of the next characters that are coming up. Now, there has been some leaks, and I'll be showing this on the screen so you can see who might be those characters. Again, keep in mind, this is being uh, technically confirmed, but not confirmed via data mining, and take that as it is, as right? Because at the end, you cannot be 100% sure that those are the characters until you see them in the video because keep in mind this something like this happened with Slayer uh, in Guilty Gear Strive and he didn't come all out until now I'm not sure if that was in you know like something spiteful access to did but Bandai could go that route who knows right speaking of Guilty Gear Strive technically I'm 100% sure that they will, at least will be showing one of the new characters that is coming for the next season uh, maybe hopefully all of them because I think it, it is a better customer practice showing you who's coming up uh, in the season than you know even though I like the hype but again you know it is what it is so uh, you know besides that when also the season will start with the new balance updates which hopefully will be soon but yeah are you excited for that because I know some people are kind of eh -eh about Guilty Gear Strive, but to be honest, it's one of the most popular games in the tournament uh, era at this moment. Like, technically, it's right now Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8, and then Guilty Gear Strive, even though a lot of people are talking about Mortal Kombat 1, etc., etc., and maybe Mortal Kombat 1 gets more views in YouTube, but when you see people entering tournaments, Guilty Gear Strive is technically the third place almost all the time and sometimes it even beats the main games like Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6. Now the other game that we need to talk about is Ground Blue Fantasy Rising versus however you name it. Uh, technically all the season characters have been shown but there's still some character missing from the season pass that we haven't have you know we haven't seen like the last one was Beatrice and they left two spots left in the open without any hints on who they might be 
and I believe that you know the time to show those characters will be during uh, Evo. So you know, like I'm also hopeful they give like a balance update to this game because it has been kind of rough. And I'm not saying like as someone that oh I'm salty I'm losing. I'm saying as somebody that one of the things I will have issue Grand Blue Fantasy as as a game as a whole it was like it feel deep but it isn't deep because to be honest really really easy to enter and that is has its good things for example you can go over and start playing the game uh, even if you haven't played in a while and you know still have it right unlike Street Fighter 6 or, 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 or Tekken 8 if you stop playing you might be getting lost because there's always new strategies or or, or new stuff getting discovered. In case of Gravel Fantasy, it, it wasn't the case. You you got you know you play the game, you figure the combos, and that's it. Like technically, after that, it's always the same scenario. And lastly, one of the games I'm expecting there might be some information is Virtua Fire Six. Uh, Sega has been saying that they are gonna go back to the franchise, but we don't know when. And I think this will be the best way to show people in the fighting game community that this game is back on track to be one of the juggernauts because if you don't know Tekken was before Beat of Fire, Beat of Fire was the king of 3D fighting games and then came Tekken and because Tekken has uh, you know Bandai has done better financial decisions than Sega uh, they took that spot and yeah, like, I want a new Bridge of Fire 6, and if you don't know it, I have played that game, I love that game, so hopefully there's gonna be news about it. I don't think if there are new, uh, news about the game, it's gonna come out next year, I would be expecting something like 2026, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong, because right now there isn't any 3D fighting games for the next year, unless I'm mistaken, and if that's so, I'm sorry, I apologize, but yeah, I want a Bridge of Fire 6, and I hope there's more news about it. Now the last game we will need to talk about is Street Fighter 6. Now they already tell us who are going to be the next characters in Season 2. So if we see a Terry Bogart cinematic trailer, I hope they do that. <laughs> I really really hope so, but I doubt it. Uh, another thing they might be showing us will be new costume. I mean new, uh, new costumes for the characters across the board. Uh, I hope that is the case. Or something else altogether like avatar stuff which is the, the least one i want to know about it because i hate those kind of content but let me know what are you expecting for the game i mean for evil all, evil all around are you excited for Street Fighter 6 uh give the gear grand blue etc etc let me know what game you're more excited for me it will be king of fire saying pair of fury and if there's something for Future of Fire, let's go, and Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6, and also only Nine Burst. Grand Blue Fantasy is the one that I'm less excited. Wishful thinking, the enough duel. But anyways, as always, like and subscribe, see you next video. Bye bye.